Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over the lead electric guitar tutorial for King of Kings. Let's jump right into it. This song is in the key of D major and there are four different lead guitar parts that I'm going to cover today. It's going to be the turnaround, chorus, and verse three and four patterns. By the way, if you want to learn this song on acoustic guitar, I have a separate tutorial just for you. Click the video in the top right corner or in the description below. Dynamically, I think of this song as very linear. This song starts off pretty quiet and the lead guitar doesn't really come in hard until the instrumental after verse two. That part sounds like this. It's going to be starting on the second fret G string with the open D string played throughout. I'm strumming in all down strokes for this part. It goes two, seven, two, nine, 11, 12, 11, 7, and then back to 2. Immediately after that, we go into the chorus. It's going to be a bar on the 7th fret G and B strings and pinky on the 10th fret high E string. The picking pattern is B, G, E, G. Sounds like this. That's going to be your one chord. Your four chord is going to be that same shape with your middle finger on the eighth fret B string. Looks like this. After that, it goes back to your original one shape. Then your last chord is a different shape and picking patterns. It's going to be the exact same shape as a traditional D major chord, but with the ring finger starting on the 10th fret B string. Your picking pattern is going to be E, G, B, back to G. Sounds like this. The last thing I should restate is make sure to resolve from the 10th fret E string to the 9th fret E string on that chord. Now we've made it to verse three and four. You're going to be completely out until the band starts building. There are two parts in this section. The first part starts on the seventh fret B string, bending up a half step and then back down. Here's what this section sounds like in context. Next note is the 9th and 7th fret G string, then 9, 7, 5, 4 on the D string. You're going to play this section twice. If you want to dive deeper and learn this song for Sunday, you should totally check out the King of Kings Survival Kit. The course comes with a complete lead guitar lesson, rhythm guitar lesson, and acoustic guitar lesson. In addition, I've included chord shapes you could play with guitar tabs and guitar profiles and all song keys. Lastly included is the electric and acoustic guitar patches for the Line 6 Helix, HX Stomp, HX Effects, and Podgo for you. If you don't have any of these units, don't worry, I've got you covered. Included is a module where I break down the pedal and amp settings you'll need to completely nail this song. The link is down below in the description or in the top right corner. Moving on to the second section of verse 3 and 4, it sounds like this. <laughs> This section is going to all be played on the B string. It's 10, 8, 7, and then a slide from the 5th to the 7th, and then to 3, 2, and 3. There's a bend there. Here's what that looks like slowly. play that part four times total and then the last time you're going to change it up going into that big instrumental it's going to be three five seven with a little bend up and then back down here's what that last part sounds like in context
To hear what all these methods sound like in context, click here to watch the next video.